Good afternoon. Welcome to this Timewax training webinar for the introduction of our new planning board. My name is uh, Marco and I'm here today with my colleague uh, Rob John and we'd like to introduce our new planning board to you. Um, so you will hear me speak mainly and Rob John will handle all your questions. Um, so and before we start, first some um, short announcements um, and the most important one is that you are able to ask your questions about this uh, webinar. So in the go to webinar control panel, there is a short screen, a uh, small screen where you can enter your questions. Um, probably most of them we will handle during this webinar. So I will first start introducing the planning board and after the introduction, um, yeah, we will answer your questions. Um, when there are very specific questions, then um, we will answer them um, in the um, control panel and we can call you back on a later moment to just answer the more questions um, based on your own uh, situation. Um, beside this, um, of course, the new planning board, it is already available. It is a beta version, um, but it could be the case uh, that you cannot see it in your screen yet. Um, so it needs to be in the applications part of Timex, in the application menu. When it doesn't show up there, please contact your in-company Timex administrator and he or she needs to um, authorize you for seeing the new planning board. What I'd like to share with you before we um, start talking about the new planning board is um, some of our recent uh, developments. Um, maybe you are all aware of them, but we have recently um, published the snapshot email for departments and for projects. We um, developed a whole new Gantt chart based on HTML5, and um, yeah, we delivered a whole new mobile application for Android and for um, iOS as well. And what we see is that Timex is used more often on mobile devices. So of course, we have the Timex portal, which you can reach by using the browser, but Timex mobile, is used more and more often. And to fulfill the wishes of our customer, I have a very short question for you, uh, which will be on your screen right away, where I ask you about, okay, well, there is a mobile application for mobile devices, for iOS and for Android, and does your business need an application for the tablet as well? Please answer um, this quick poll. And after you have answered it, we will start talking about the new planning board. Let's wait a few more seconds so everyone can put in his answer. And now the poll is closed. So let's move over to the thing why we are all here and of course, that is the new Timewax planning board. As I said before, um, it should be in your application menu. When it is not there, again, please contact your, in, your Timewax administrator so they can 
um, yeah, approve you or authorize you um, to make it visible in the application menu. Of course, we have the old planning board and in the more part, there is the planning board beta. And the reason why we have built this new planning board, of course, there are multiple reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, the old planning board, we are already calling it the old planning board, but this is, of course, the planning board you are uh, probably still using. Uh, it was developed in uh, Flash, uh, so it's a bit an older technique. And this new planning board is developed in HTML5. So, and that new technique makes it more future proof. So we are able to build extra options and new options on this planning board. So you will have, let's say, the same options as you have in a current planning board, but we will extend it with some new developments, some new options like resource requests, uh, uh, integrations with Gantt chart, et cetera, et cetera. So we are just building more and more options on this planning board. It is still a beta version. So which means that we need to develop it more and more often and more and more. And before we will um, make this planning board beta, the uh, real planning board, then we will move over this current planning board to planning board classic. It will cost us some extra time, but it is already possible to start working with this new planning board. How does it work or what kind of things has changed um, related to the old planning board. Of course, we still have the option to view in a daily view. We've extended it in the old planning board. You could cho choose one or two days. You can choose each day time scale you prefer. Of course, we still have the week view and we have the monthly views with one, two, three or six months. We have built in a Zoom option. So for example, when you are on a four week view, you can zoom in to have a more detailed overview of your weeks and you can easily scroll through the different weeks. And of course, you can zoom out to the original view. You can choose or select a preferred date and you can scroll back in time scroll forward in time or just press today to move over to today or to the week of today one of the um, new options in this planning board um, and maybe you are already noticed from the calendar uh, in time so the calendar application is that we start working with views and with views you are able to create by yourself your own view which you can share with several other user profiles and you can just say okay well i like to add a view as you can see i'm currently on an all active resource view and i can easily add a new one and i can choose by type okay well what kind of view do I like to create? Do I need a view with resources or do I need a view with projects? I will select resources. I will call it supervisor in this case. And I will say, okay, well, I need a field so I can build my own criteria. I will select field position. And the condition is that this position needs to equal to, your position is equal to supervisor. And when I press add a view, the only resources visible in this view match the criteria. So I will only see in this particular case, the supervisors which are in my TimeWax training environment. I can do the same for projects, of course. So just give me only the projects from a certain department, or from a certain project manager, or from a certain portfolio. And 
when I edit this supervisor view, I can say, well, okay, um, position is not the only criteria, but I like to see only the supervisor where the department is equal to advice. I will save it again. And then I have less resources because now I only see the resource from department advice with the position supervisor. So I can build my own views. And as you maybe already saw, there is a share view option where I can share this view with my colleagues. So I can press share view, save. I go to masters, more, and user profiles. And in user profiles, I can share it with my colleagues. Then at the right side of the screen, we have this so-called burger menu. I'm not sure if it is a real term for it, but we are calling it the burger menu because of the three stripes and it is a more action menu. I can choose, okay, well, hide one of my boards. Currently I see two boards, but when I press, okay, please hide one, then I only see the active projects board. Now to show another board, and I have some other options like list view, like uh, the horizontal view, the play mode. So a lot of options, which were in the old planning board on a different position are combined and you can find them in the more action view. And now, of course, we need to plan some resources. It works in exactly the same way as it does in the old planning board. So I can just say, okay, well, this resource, I will move it over. So I will drag and drop it on a certain day, on a certain activity. But as you can see, there is something changed because I can move over the day and I can exactly choose what the start time of this booking is. So I like to schedule this resource on the 15th of May, 10 o'clock. I drop it. This is the project. This is the activity. So the booking screen is changed. This is like this pop-up. I can select type, select location. Of course, I can still say, okay, well, I made a mistake or it needs to start later or it needs to end later. I can still make, of course, the repeating booking. I can still add description or remarks. And of course, easily press save and the booking is made. And as you can see, there is um, some other things changed in the booking screen uh, or on the planning board, because in the old planning board, bookings are on top of each other. So for example, on this internal other project service level support, you can see that on the 14th of May, there are two bookings and they are not on top of each other, but you can see them both. So it doesn't need to click anymore through the bookings or just move over to see the pop-up screen. And in case bookings are next to each other, so they are one booking is from nine to 10 o'clock and the other booking from 10 till five, for example. So let me change this booking from Gerard to a different timestamp on, for example, the 14th. Then you can see they are also behind each other. And when I make this a bit shorter, then you can still see them both. And by zooming in, you can see a more detailed view of these two bookings. So you can still drag and drop resources to projects 
And the other option is that you say, okay, well, I will make a booking on a certain resource and you can easily say, okay, well, this booking is starts at nine o'clock. It will end on three o'clock. I can select my project, select my activity. I can change all things. I can still make the repeating booking. I can justify hours. It's a new option. So I can easily say, okay, well, justify the number of hours with an end date. And then Timewax will look for all free options in the resources calendar. And it will just justify this calendar with bookings for this certain project. And I can say, okay, well, justify hours. And when I press, for example, 40 hours, it will just place 40 hours as soon as time can. So as soon as there are available spots in someone's calendar, it will just be filled with bookings for this uh, project. So both are uh, our new options. Of course, I can change description or add a description or remarks. I can add extra resources. For example, Jurgen, a request. And of course, I can add files. And in the old planning board, you first have to save the original bookings, open it again, and add files. And in this new planning board, you can add files directly to a booking. And of course, I can save it again. And as you can see, it is placed on certain days because I asked to fill out the 40 hours. The setting option, because probably most of our clients were used to the um, screen to the menu the right side of the screen where you can change your uh, views change your colors in the in the planning board and for this purpose we have added a setting or settings option the downside of the, of the screen and here you can say okay what kind of color do i prefer the color of the resource the color of the project the activity or the booking so the same options as in the old and I can increase or decrease the row height. So a new option is that you can label your booking. So you can freely add extra options, extra labels in a booking, um, like project name, activity name, but also number of hours, um, travel hours, break hours. But of course, how more information, how more labels I like to have in my booking, how more space, how more space it needs to um, be, be visible. So for this purpose, I can just extend the row height. And as you can see the back side of the screen, you see that the row height um, is getting bigger and bigger. And of course, you can make it smaller as well. Then, of course, you can um, change the displayed time scale. What you can do, and I will cancel or I will save uh, this settings. And what is changed is that you can see the workable hours of a resource. My resources, all these supervisors from the advice department are working full time. They are, of course, they are free during the weekends. So what you can see is that the weekends are marked with a different um, color, a different pattern as it is during the weeks. But for example, when Gerard has a day off on Friday or on whatever day, it will be marked with a different pattern as well with the gray lines, as you can see during the weekends. When someone has a just a, 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 a part-time job, so they are, not working on Wednesday afternoon, for example, then you see only the Wednesday morning marked with this white 
wide option, wide view. So you can see directly in the planning board when is someone working or when is someone's part-time day or when is someone not working. In the settings option, you can change the time scale. So when you are working from nine to five or from eight till 5.30 or whatever time you can change your time scale. So you can extend the period of the day. So when I change this one until 10 o'clock, I will press save. You can see that there is more space at the right side of the working time. And here I can easily make bookings from six till nine. I can add projects, activities, etc. So you can use the space in the planning board in the best way possible for your own company, for your own processes and for your own way of working. And at the left side, of course, the plus, the add option, here you can add new projects, add resources, you can make an import, and a very popular function is that you can undo the last action. So when you made a small mistake, when you schedule someone or plan someone on a wrong option, on a wrong project, a wrong activity, or a wrong day, you can just undo the last action and you can start over. So nothing's changed uh, related to the old planning board. I'm just looking to Robert John and Jurgen in case I forgot something to tell or perfect. Um, any questions? There's one question coming in. Uh, is it possible for everybody to make a view, to make his or her own uh, view? It is something that you can change in the user profile. So in the user profile, you can set up, okay, well, is this planning board, or is this new planning board, is it available for a certain, uh, certain user profile for a certain group of people? Um, or isn't it not? Um, and next to this, you can say, okay, um, can this group of people add extra views or can they only see my views? So I can go to user profiles and just show, go to administrator, access to applications. Here you can easily authorize yourself for the new planning board and access to views. Here you can easily give access or authorize people for the views you have created. In the old board, I used the filter options. Uh, do I need to make a different view for every filter I use or will be, or, or Will there be a filter option? Um, you need to create views for each filter. It is a one-time thing because once you have created the view, it will stay there. So it, it's not the case that you still need to add views each time you open the planning board. So this, of course, is saved. Um, but I consider this as a feedback option, a feedback point. So we will uh, note it down um, and discuss it internally to maybe decide to add a filter option in this planning board. Can I create resource views that show multiple positions or multiple departments? Um, 
this criteria are um, like I will press edit is this the position of this needs to be supervisor and department needs to be advised. For example, when I change this to position is equal to supervisor and position is equal to manager, it won't show anything because there is no resource available which is supervisor and manager. So if you'd like to create a view um, where you can see multiple positions or multiple departments, then you can say, okay, well, um, position is not equal to this and is not equal to that with the number of lines so that you only have excluded the positions you like to see. So it's, it's a bit more work, but, and that's the good point, we will change this in a way that you can say, okay, position needs to be equal to supervisor and equal to manager. And then the answer is yes, then it is possible, but now you need to work with the workaround. Is there integration to Office 365 calendars directly? Um, there is an integration with Office 365. So it is possible to easily make these bookings in Timewax and it will show up automatically in the Office 365 calendar of a resource. So the answer is yes. When do you expect the transition? It's a good question. Um, it is very important to know that we are excited about this new um, planning board, that um, we are convinced that this planning board will work for you um, yeah, as you can expect from us. So the old planning board was very, very popular. I think 100% of our clients were using the, the planning board and we will not change or we will not um, yeah, stop using the old planning board before all clients are convinced and happy with this new one. So we are working on improving this planning board with new functions, with new options. And I cannot mention a date right right away. Like, okay, well, we, we will stop on this in this day. But please, when this is the case, we will send you emails or, or mention it um, before um, it will happen. When I make changes in beta version, do I need to make the same changes in the old plan board? Uh, no. No, absolutely not. This planning board has a different interface. This planning board um, works a little bit different, but it is um, saved in, let's call it the same database. So every changes you make in this new planning board are visible in the old planning board, are visible in the calendar. And of course you can create reports in queries or you can um, see the results in utilization, et cetera, et cetera. So it is absolutely need, not needed to um, make uh, two different or two the same plannings in two different planning boards. Is there an easy option to show actual hours? That's a good, that's a good question. Um, what we will create, and it is, um, this reminds me of a diff on, a, on another um, change we've, we've made, uh, because in this column structure, of course you can still change the place of the different columns. And currently you can say, okay, well, just unmark some columns, which I don't like to use. There is no option yet with actual hours, but good news, we are working on it. Some other um, 
questions or um, actually there's one or, or multiple questions in one <laughs> in one question. Um, it's again about the um, about the views. Um, there was in the old planning board a very easy option to just type the name of a resource, double click, and see only the planning of this certain resource. It's not yet in this planning board, so you need to create a view, for example, with resource name is equal to, um, and just change each time the name of the resource in this um, in this value field. That will be changed. So there will be an uh, a search box or a search option where you can just type in a name or type in the name of a project and have this planning from the project of the resource or the resource in your in your screen. So it will be changed. And as I mentioned before, um, we will change this as well to make it a more um, uh, to make it an option like okay, well, so position is equal to supervisor or is equal to advice or a different position um, to select multiple departments, multiple resources, multiple positions or whatever criteria in one view. So it is on very short term, not necessary to create 20 or 25 different views to um, have all your wishes um, combined. Can I show bookings as a whole day, regardless of the actual time, so I can read the labels? Um, no, that's not that's not the case um, anywhere. The, the option we've changed it to the Zoom option. So when the booking is on a shorter period, a shorter time, then you can just zoom in to have a more detailed view of a day, you can easily click on it and it will show this pop-up with the information about the projects, time, and the options like delete, like multiple bookings, edit, so you can edit multiple bookings, so you can delete them, you can move them, for example, with a week. So it is not um, possible to see them on all day, but I think the Zoom option is a very good um, option to have the overview that you like to have. Can you grey out weekends on the project board? Um, of course, the weekends are on a different view, or um, at least when you are not working during the weekend. But there is an option in settings where you can say show weekend, or of course. Uh, just unmark this option and save settings and the weekends will be gone. There are no other questions coming in. Um, I'd like to mention one last thing. Um, this webinar is recorded. Um, so we will um, put this on, uh, on YouTube on our website and we will share the link, so please feel free to just um, send it to your colleagues uh, to inform them about the new planning board. Please start using the new planning board. And if you have feedback, of course, we are likely to hear your feedback. So just send it in to support at timeworks.com and we will discuss it internally to um, yeah, bring this new planning board to a uh, higher level and improve it with different options, different functions as to make it um, yeah, useful for you, useful for your whole company. Thank you for joining. Um, thanks again. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.